everybody, and a very good evening. Good evening, good evening. We're in the craft vault. Craft vault, craft vault. Uh, we've opened up the door. Door, door. And we're here. I'm not going to do this all show. Can you imagine? Imagine, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, we, <laughs> welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us. It's Friday! Boom! Friday evening here in the UK, so we're very excited. The weekend is on hand. Obviously, what, just gone 1 o'clock Eastern, and you're only just getting up, aren't you? Uh, Pacific, 10 a.m. But, you know, we're excited. As per usual, this guy, hashtag slacker, weekend <laughs> off. Boom! Um, I think my lovely partner in crime, uh, TV wifey, Barnsley Bombshell, uh, the lovely Debbie, uh, is with me. You've, are you off this weekend as well? Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. I've got the grandkids on Sunday looking after the little grandbabies. Oh. Get my little hands on them. Ooh. Can't wait to see them after I've been away. It nearly oh, killed yeah. me. The longest I've been apart from them. Awful, <laughs> just awful. So it was lovely to get my hands on them. And when the mum and dad said, would you mind baby? So yes. Yep. Yes, I'm absolutely. A... Out for that. So yes, I've got them this weekend. So basically, what you got on tonight, Hashtag team slackers. <laughs> you know, been on holiday, got the week off. This guy, I mean, I was going to say never in my am, aren't I? I'm always. Anyway, I'm not. No, I've got the weekend off. We got the weekend <laughs> off. Uh, so listen, we're, 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 we're sort of cock a hoop, really. We are looking forward to the show. And it's going to be a big one. Um, it is the Craft Vault. So I always see like Craft Vault shows as sort of. They're sort of cartloady, but I always think we don't have the kind of stock that we would normally have potentially on a cartload show. So um, the deals are going to be amazing. I've got a whole selection this side. I know Debbie's got a whole selection that side. I, I mean, I'm talking, I made some notes earlier on here. We've got, we've got deals, 70% off. We've got buy one, get twos, 50% uh, off. I've got deals where you buy two items, get the rest of the bundle for free. Um, we've got deals where you basically buy a full collection for the price of what would you know, normally be one. I mean, they're bonkers, the deals we've got on the show tonight. So all I can say to you is, shop the show. Uh, hit up the website, check out all the deals there, get ahead of us. Uh, we've got that code as well, uh, website20, use that. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the, the T's and C's and the fuss and the faff. What I will say to you is um, the usual terms and conditions apply with that. But what I would be doing if I was shopping tonight, I'd just stick it in anyway. I'd just stick it in when mm -hmm. I was checking out. And if, there's, if, it, if it qualifies, the website will work it out for you. If it doesn't, you've lost nothing. Save typing nine characters. It's worth a go, isn't it? It's multi-use as well up until the end of play on Sunday. A uh, few hellos before we get into this. Uh, hello uh, to Superstar Susie on the socials, who is um, keeping us right this evening. Um, Zoe Carver says, evening, everyone. Uh, Fred171 says, happy Friday from California. Dan Cadman says, oh, Dan, I can never pronounce this. Hiya and good evening, everyone, from a sunny... Nah, you can read this one out, Oh, Debbie. no. No. I, I can I, do the first word. I struggle with some of these. La sunny... sunny Lanfair? La Lanfair? Lanfair. Serenian? Where's that? It's Wales. Oh, it's here, it's in England. Oh, well, it's in, sorry, it's, in Wales. it's in Wales. Yeah. In Wales. Cranfair. Oh, oh, Cranfair. Yeah. Carinian? This is what I thought. Cranfair, Carinian. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Christine Mahoney's in, could do that one. Sarah Brown says, hello again, my friends. I just wanted to pop on to say hello to dear Debbie and beautiful Ben. <laughs> Before I drop asleep. It's 3 a.m., Sarah, apparently, oh, in Australia. Sarah, get to sleep. <sighs> so I'm not commenting. You know I have dozed off sending hugs from your favourite galah. I love how you do the Australian accent every single time now. I kind of feel like I can't help it now and ever. Yeah, so every Sarah time you see Sarah, you go into that Australian accent mode. I do. Yeah. <laughs> You're flaming galah. <laughs> Rose M. Baker says, hello from Colorado. Yay for Friday. Yes. Fry yay. And Barbara R. Barbara R. says, hello, everyone from Indiana. Keep the comments coming in. Let us know what you're doing this weekend. Keep the hellos flying our way. Um, and Crafting Not Grafting by Hillary says, hello, everyone. Happy Friday from Hillary and Holly the Collie. Oh, Holly the Collie. You've got a collie. Hillary, picture, please, 
I love collies. Collies are my favourite dogs. In, I don't know if you know, uh, I have, well, I had two, but we've now got one. Um, Molly Collie we've got, and you've got a Holly Collie. Please, can you send in a picture? Uh, are we doing that tonight? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Is it all about the Collies? Oh, oh, Charlotte's okay. just gone, no, no, don't do But No, but what about specifically... Charlotte, what about specifically collies? No, she says no. But um, Hilary, can you send in your picture of um, Holly the collie? I'd love to see that, please. I love collie dogs. Um, I'll show you a picture of Molly Collie in a, in a bit if you haven't seen Molly it. Molly Collie, I love her name. Molly Collie. She's so cute. Absolutely. <whistles> but yeah, brilliant. Hello, hello, says Donna Yam. Uh, Cat Butts with us. Hey, Cat. Uh, says, hi, lovely Ben and Debbie. Hi, everyone. Uh, and Mary Shaw says, happy Friday and hello. Hi, Kirsty D. Good evening. Um, right. Shall we get on into it? Am I doing the first deal or do you want to do well, the Well, you can deal? do whatever you want, Ben. If you want to start, you can start over there. Mm. Well, let me start. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stocking was hung by the chimney with care in the hope that St Nicholas soon would be there. Right, this is going to be, this is going to be a demonstration of what we're going to do in the craft bolt tonight. If you thought we were here just to muck about because it's Friday, I mean, you're partly right, but, but look at the deals. 63.93 is what this collection should cost you. 78.65 if you're in the US, yoink. £15.20 or $18.40. I'll show you here, basically, to put this in your mind as to the, uh, the, the deal here for you. This first die, okay, so your pine tree edge, you're going to get in the collection. That one, plus this one here, the music and swaddles, th that equates, if you're platinum, to your $15.20 or $18.40. That's, that's what you're paying for. So everything else I'm about to show you in this bundle, it's like you're getting it for free. So for free, you will be receiving this beautiful decorative frame. I mean, again, how stunning is that? Absolutely incredible. Um, and again, lay this up to create a beautiful card front, beautiful um, you know, front for your box. Uh, you've got all those different individual elements in there as well. Your mats and layers, stunning, love it. Also for free, it's working out that you're gonna get St. Nick. So you've got your kind of uh, classic Father Christmas there um, in stamp form. You've got that um, amazing Father Christmas and the reindeers flying through the sky. Got that beautiful little stamp of the, uh, the village there and a little present on Holly. You're, like, you're getting that for free. It's then also like for free, we're giving you this Christmas Eve. This is one of my favorite Christmas um, stamp sets that we've done actually. I absolutely love it um, for the fact that I, I just, I don't know, it's magical. The two little children looking out of the window, uh, spying Father Christmas and the reindeer. I just, it takes me back to when my kids were still doing the Santa spotting with me and I love it. Um, so you're getting that set for free. Also for free, you're getting the stockings by the fire. So this is um, a lovely selection of, um, you know, great stamps to add to any project. The Christmas tree is gorgeous. You've got your Christmassy bell. You've got your sugar plums in there. You've got your stocking to hang by your um, little mantelpiece as well. And then for free, you're also going to get your festive foliage. Um, so this again allows you to build up this beautiful poinsettia flower. Uh, and you've even got in there the uh, detail within the die to be able to get that sort of um, really beautiful embossed finish. So let's just recap on that again. I'll show you some cards in a second. Free, 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 free when you buy those two in the bundle that that's how I equated it and look look at the kind of things you're going to be creating here how cute is this again I know we don't have the papers this time around but hopefully you've got some of the papers um, still in your crafty stash but look how cute the trees are there um, on that card look how beautiful um, on this um, Z fold the um, 
the little frame and the little nesting frame is absolutely beautiful just with a little Christmas first stamped out onto it as well look how wonderful this looks again with that frame and then that stamped out father christmas i think is absolutely brilliant i love that set how gorgeous is this again using that scene of the two little children uh spotting father christmas out the window on christmas eve it's absolutely gorge and uh, shall i show you one more um mm, oh this one here we go oh it's a bit crushed but you get the sense of it this one is the uh, music and swaddles Again, that is a beautiful die. I think that you could use elsewhere outside of Christmas because you've got, I mean, the swirls aren't too Christmassy, but for anyone perhaps in your family loves them, um, you know, maybe there's a musician, that is absolutely brilliant. But how great does that look on the top of your card? Adding elements of the stamps in there as well. Just stunning. All of that. Twas the night before Christmas selection. It should be £64. It should be $79. $15.20 or $18.40. It is, if you want to equate it in percentage savings, it's a 70% saving, but hopefully just kind of showing you, you know, that way, those two you pay for, the rest you get for free. Incredible. Uh, Gaz has joined us saying, good evening, Debbie, Ben, Susie, and all the CTV crew and all my crafty friends. Hey guys, uh, Mary Patson from sunny Montana. Yo, uh, this weekend I'll be studying for my anatomy and physiology exam, says Donna Yam. Ooh. Well, good luck. Sarah Brown says, Ben, you make me giggle so much when you read my comments. I love it. You are brilliant. We love you too, you flaming galah. Uh, Emma Thrower says, hi everyone. I need to start making my Christmas cards. 86 days to go, I think, Emma, until um, Christmas. Got a bit of time. Stephanie says, I'm excited about Craft Along tomorrow. Oh, Stephanie, I think you're joining us as the guest on the Craft Along, correct? Let me know. Uh, Lynn says, good evening. Debbie, Ben, Team Social, and all the CTV team from Newcastle. And Evelyn Boyd says, hello, everyone. Hi, gorgeous Debbie and my superstar, Ben. Love ya. Ah. Oh. That's from Evelyn Boyd. Oh, Evelyn, uh, that's lovely. We love you too. And you say happy crafting and spending. Absolutely. Spend tonight. Uh, what I would say to you is, again, I realise that we have so many of you who watch all day, every day, and you're probably looking at these deals and going, oh, well, I've got that collection, but what a fantastic deal. Tell Crafty Friends about the show tonight. Get them watching. Or indeed, what an opportunity to buy for Crafty Friends tonight because people in the know would know what this would cost. You're picking up for a fraction. Just don't tell them how much you didn't spend and buy tonight. Um, and another example of uh, what we've got as far as the deals are concerned is over to the side of the studio with um, lovely Debbie. You've got a cracking deal over there, haven't you? We had, we focused this on the, um, the masterclass, so we thought we'd bring it back uh, because it's such a good deal. Yes. Great yes. price. Yes. Great price. Not only that, Ben's been telling you about that extra 20%. Oh, yes. The website 20. I mean, come on, it's a no-brainer. And when you see the price of these, this is crackers. $15 or $17 by any stretch when you're taking into account, you're getting three sets of three dies that are edibles that have got a really great concept story behind them, but mm. also they're an edible, so there's so much you can do with them. So you have got that fabulous Christmas morning scene with the kids and the Christmas tree and the fireplace in the background. And whether or not you colour them in or keep them plain and simple, these are absolutely beautiful. The yeah. deal is off the charts platinum price 12 pounds or 13 dollars 60 if you take off as well then that 20 percent extra if you put the website 20 in there you're going to get these at a really knockdown price i think we worked it out to something like nine pounds something and ten dollars something earlier on this morning when it was dean and lily absolutely crazy uh, this one is the snow day scene i almost feel like we're giving these away you know, yeah. you're buying one set and you're going to get the rest. But this is how I look at these. These are absolutely incredible deals. Um, and then lastly, you've got that lovely Bethlehem scene. And they have got a concept story behind them. Like I said, Leanne and the team, when they first thought about these dies, they wanted to offer you something that you could do differently with the edibles to create a really wow factor every single time you went inside the card. Um, so again, a lovely example, beautiful frontage of a card. But what you have got is that lovely knockout scene inside. And and that's the concept that you can create and you will get instructions showing you how you can do that but absolutely love these but the lovely thing about these
these is that you can use them in any way, shape or form that you want. Nicola decided to do a little bit of a trifold with this one that pulls out. So it's absolutely fabulous. Oh, I, love I really that. love that effect. Mm. It really does give a, a really wow factor. Lots of depth and dimension. And whether you colour them in, whether you just keep them plain and simple, they look absolutely fabulous. Another gorgeous one. Nice sentiment. Wow. The pop-out scene, that lovely 3D scene that you are getting looks mm. absolutely fabulous. I love that one as an example. The one that I did earlier on a stepper card uh, kept it really plain and simple just by adding a little bit of colour there uh, with the terms of the background papers um, and a little sentiment. And then, of course, they are eligible. So literally take that scene, build it up, layer them up. Different colours, different sparkle mediums, different colouring mediums, different cardstock you want to cut into, colour with them, ink with them, absolutely fabulous. That background was created using one of our sparkle pens just to create that lovely background wash. And then simply adding different layers and using inks through them as well to, to really make the extra elements pop out. They're absolutely fantastic. We did in the earlier show in the masterclass, um, I did a couple of demos using those um, and Lily did an amazing one this morning as well. It's going to be a battle of the, um, th those two today with the demo of the day because uh, both of those cards were from this collection. £15, $17, absolutely incredible price to start with. Minus your club in membership. Lowest you'll go is £12 or $13.60. However, that website 20 code is there for you to use as many times as you want. It's not a one-trick pony code. You can only use it once. You can use it as many times as you want. And you could really get a really good deal with these today. Absolutely fabulous. Don't look at it as three die sets. Look at that as nine dies. Because mm. that's yeah. what that is. That's yeah. nine dies in each of those. And I say nine dies, it's exactly that. Three different die sets, nine dies in total. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely incredible. Huge value for money. Um, again, you know what? Uh, fill up your cart here and take advantage of the deals. Thank you for all the lovely comments coming through as well. Uh, lots of love tonight for Debbie's fingernails. Oh. Um, as well. So it's about the second or third comment I've seen come through. Diane Gerhardt says, I love Debbie's fingernails. Thank you very much. For little well, they were me holiday nails, but they've got little love hearts on them. Ah. Can you see? Got little bits of bright pink on the tips, and then on these two fingers, little ah. little love hearts and dots. Did you get them done on holiday? No, no, no. I had oh. them done. What I had them done the week before. Ah. So yes, thank you very much for the love for the nails. Oh, thank you. you. Yeah. Very kind of you. You've really nailed it this evening. Oh, boom, boom. Bit of basil brush there. Beth Metzger says good afternoon and happy Friday from North Dakota. Hello. Zoe, uh, Sue that doesn't say Zoe at all. Sue Benson says hello, Ben and Debbie from a sunny and chilly Montana. And Candy says, good morning all from Candy in Portland, Oregon. It's so funny even that you ask us to let you know what we're doing this weekend. Of course, being the true crafters, we are probably crafting. Oh, OK. <laughs> I mean, you don't craft all the time, 24 or do you? You'd be surprised, Ben. 24. 24, 7? Yeah. What else are you doing this weekend? Squeezed in alongside the crafting. That's what I want to know. Let me show you another fantastic deal here. All right, this is, oh my goodness me. Can we just hold, can we hold the deal? On? Can, we, can we do the usual, guess what the price is gonna be on this next set? Right, because you will not guess what, you will not, I'll, I'll cue you Charlotte, don't you worry. <laughs> you will not guess the price on this, right. So it is, it's the gift card holder dies, okay. Uh, it's a four piece collection, 59 dies in total. I'll show you the, the product, then I'll show you some, then, I'll sh then we'll get the price in, and I'll show you the cards. Right, so, what do you, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? You're going to get your Father Christmas. Well, actually, I can do it as I go along. So what these do, right, you're going to be able to, th these are brilliant, this Christmas, for those people who uh, go, oh, I don't want a present, I can't think of what, anything they want, then you end up having to buy a gift card. But then you end up putting the gift card in like a, um, you know, an envelope, don't you? It's like flapping around everywhere. These will um, store your gift cards absolutely perfectly for you, and you can do it in a real fun way. For example, by creating a little gift card uh, inside your Father Christmas. You can, of course, um, also just pop, oh, that one hasn't got a gift card in it. 
maybe I stole it. Uh, no, but you can, you can also um, just pop in little <laughs> messages on these as well. You know, if you don't... <laughs> Give this to somebody and they'll think, oh, I've got a gift card. And then don't put one in there. <laughs> just, put, just put a message, uh, merry and bright. But look, you get the idea with these. They're super fun, they're super cool. So you've got one, all right. Oh, there's somebody rushing to get the deal. Uh, so you've got 14 there, 16 dies in this one. Building up your little um, your little snowman, and who's also to say you know that you can't create really cool projects like this? I love what Sandy's done with that. Popped them. Oh look, a little family, family. of snow people. I love it. Look at that with three three gift cards in there. Can you oh. imagine getting that with three gift cards? Can you imagine? You would be well and truly spoiled. Oh that oh that we see that one is Se just is just centered set, down. Yeah, and that, that one is as yeah, well. Yeah, there you go. So it's just the top one. <laughs> With the gift card. There used to be little Wilco gift cards in here, but no more. Oh, no, no more. No, let's not talk about that. No more. Um, oh. So you've so got good. that one. That's 30 dies. What, what are you thinking price-wise? Then you've got stamps. this one. Huh? And stamps. What? And stamps. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, this one is your present. Not just at Christmas time. Use it year-round. I quite like this one on the front of this little box here as well. So you could have the present in the box then the gift card on the outside as well. Love that Or just one. a little message like we've done here. Meet you under the what? Oh, oh meet what? you under the mistletoe. Oh, yes, please, then. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> uh, so that's that one. Oh, it's lovely. Dyson I love stamps. that one. And then lastly in the set, you've got your Christmas stocking. Don't think I... Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, this one here, again, 15 um, items. So you've got your stamps and dies in there again. Has this one got a little... Whoop. Yes, it has. Look at that. To the... Oh, Joy. Ah, oh, so you can continue the message. Joy. To the world. Would have been better if there was a gift card in there, but, you know. Um, <laughs> so, all of that you're going to get. Set one, 15 stamps and dies. Set two is another uh, 14. That's 29. Set three, that's 45. Uh, set four, that is 59 elements you're getting there. What are you thinking? I mean, th so this normally would cost you £52, $63. If you th what are you thinking? We could get this under £30. That would be incredible, right? If this was under £30. This would be an absolute steal, and you'd be snapping this up, taking it off my hands. All right, here we go. Big countdown. Can we get it under £30? In five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Under 30 boom, 12 quid. Crackers. What are we doing? We, me and Lily's mouth, that was our exact reaction this morning. The pair of us, mouth dropped to the floor because we thought, oh, yeah, that's great. And then we realised it was for all of them. It wasn't just one or two of them. It was, like, for all of them. It's one of those where you almost want to check your notes to make sure you've written the right thing down. But it's £12 or $15.20 for the lot. And I would say again, Debbie, do you know what? If we've got people watching tonight going, oh, well, I've already got the Father Christmas one and I've got the Snowman one, isn't it worth spending £12 or $15 just to pick the other two up? Yep. Absolutely. And then do what you want with the others. Yeah. I would say tonight, uh, you, phew, you're missing a trick if you don't snap these up. It may well be that you've got nothing like this already in your, your crafty um, stash at home, but what a great way to be able to uh, make a brilliant project. Um, pop a little message, or even better, a little gift card in there as well. Do not miss out on that. That is a cartload price. That is a Sarah cartload price on a craft vault show. It is, honestly. Uh, not over egging the pudding on that one. Phenomenal deal. Beat that one if you can. Well, I was just thinking, oh, my God, I don't think I can. <laughs> yes, that's a really, really good deal. However, we have got some crazy deals throughout this show, and I think I can kind oh, of get a good deal here. Come on, then. Although, I, I, although I have forgotten my notes, then. Oh. I, I've got half my notes. I don't know. What I, you the got? The first half, I don't know what I did with. Uh, don't worry, Ben. It's off. Mouth did drop open then. Triptych dies. Now I love these. Eight pounds fifty or ten dollars. <whistles> ben, purple, purple box. Dean, do your maths. Twenty percent extra off if you're going for the. <gasps> this is crazy. Two die sets that offer you lots of versatility when it comes to uh, crafting. And I absolutely love these dies. Triptych, triptych is those three images that you it's can create. It's another 136 off if it qualifies. Honestly, it's crazy prices. Um, and the scenes that you get in here are the fabulous qu uh, quaint village. That's that one. 
Oh, yeah. And then lastly, you're getting the Santa over the rooftops. This is an incredible deal. This one has actually got four dies in there. It's not three, it's four. So altogether, seven dies for the price that you're seeing. And these are the kind of things that you can be making with them, Ben. Um, always love these. I love a triptych design. Yeah. I love the fact that they're all different designs so you can really build up a lovely scene there. Or maybe just use one or two of them. If you don't want to use them as a triptych, absolutely. But look how gorgeous that is with a simple bit of colouring. This one, you're probably thinking, well, I can't really see that. Boom. Oh, right in the centre there. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and that's the kind of thing that you can be doing. So it can be a pop-out triptych mm. that really does create a wow factor when you open that up. And then the lovely little Santa over the rooftops there. You can, you can do whatever you want with him. He is... I just love them. I love this one because this is in like almost like a bit of black and white, but it looks sensational with that little bit of colour. Because what they've done there is created the triptych in the background, made it into a shaker card. So one of our Michelle's favourites, a lovely little shaker card. Uh, but then added a little bit extra detail onto the front, which again looks incredible use them in your diorama style cards as well if that's what you want to do add a little bit of acetate around the background and um, color these images in those dyes uh, color them in with your coloring mediums and then have a little play with them because they are a triptych design however that's a gatefold and i love this it's a very very simple design and then the middle using that center part looks gorgeous it's a really beautiful scene it's one of those die sets that enables you to create different styles of cards whether you're going to use it as a triptych design what i will tell you is and i have never <laughs> i haven't seen it with this price before eight pounds fifty or ten dollars minus your club inspire platinum people six pounds eighty or eight dollars but take off that additional 20 what was that again dean £5.44 for two die sets or $6.40. That's sensational. That is a really good deal. So, yes, Ben, I can top your deal. I and some because that is an absolute steal Did you call of me the handsome? night. Handsome. Of oh, course and you're handsome. Handsome. I thought you meant I can top your deal, handsome. You are handsome. Mr. Yeah, Mr. look at him, Mr. Swerve over there. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great deal. Triptych does a fa <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I get, what did Charlotte just say in my ear? She said, handsome and airy. Because we, f we figured out in the last show, Ben's airy. I'm not airy. I've in got your hair. arms, arms and legs. You told everybody that you are airy no. on your arms no. and legs only, is what you told us. No. Oh, let's not go back. You stroked my arm and you went, oh, aren't your hairy arms? And I went, yeah, I've soft got hairy air. arms and legs. Soft air. You're not prickly. No. It's nice and but soft. But then I said, yes, I've got hairy arms and legs. And then, then someone said, have you got airy chest? No, you said, I've got airy chest. And I was like, oh, no. And then, then Charlotte was like, have you got airy back? So I didn't, all that, none of that was me. Anyway, let's just. I'm going to, I'm going to play that back. I want to know if that was true. It was you guys that initiated the I never chat said about that. hair. It I never was. said anything about your hairy back or your, did I say hairy chest? Yes. Did I say that? You that did. wasn't me. That wasn't me. You said, have you got a hairy chest? And then Charlotte said, have you got a hairy back? That was the way it all went. And then Dean said, no, we're not, let's just stop now. <laughs> People might be having their tea. People might be having their tea. Oh, my um, God. <laughs> right. Shall we move on to another gorgeous collection? A collection um, that I absolutely love. Um, and again, what I've done here is broken this down into actually what you're paying for. Um, and it's this, right? So within this set, this is the um, Tis the Season selection. Again, the price on this is absolutely blooming bonkers. Um, two items you're gonna pay for and the rest you get for free. How stunning is this die? Absolutely beautiful. Um, this creator card, uh, Robin Redbreast. You get the detail die, you get the outer die there as well. So you can cut this as a panel if you want, uh, or cut it straight into your cardstock. Uh, this, actually, great for doing your paper piecing. Also, absolutely stunning for colouring in as well. Because as I say, with these like um, creator card dies, you know, if you are new to colouring and you're kind of worrying um, about being precise. You've got the, all the lines there. I likened this a few weeks ago to, um, you know, when you go bowling and you put the sides up, 
that's what this is like a little bit and the fact that you, you've got all those areas that you can colour nice and quickly and easily. So stunning die. Thank you, Charlotte. You obviously weren't on the show when I first said that the other week. Um, I think it was with Sarah, actually, and she was very impressed. Then you're going to get your Yuletide frame. Now, again, this one is, I think, so super useful, not only in this collection, but across a whole host of your uh, kind of wintertime and um, Christmas collections. You've got that beautiful embossed detail that you're going to get with one pass. And then you've also got the die cut of that little um, aperture there, allowing you to maybe make a little shaker, maybe like, um, you know, uh, for your box lids, maybe great for popping in some little florals or a sentiment, however you want to do it, um, it is entirely up to you. Those two elements there equate to the price that you're seeing on screen, which means all of these other elements you're getting for absolutely nothing. So the uh, wonderful time of the year, love these sets because you get your big kind of main focal stamp then the die to be able to cut them out and then two little sentiments to go with them so absolutely brilliant if you love coloring uh, and then if you know if you want to use these as sort of 3d elements then brilliant you've got the die to be able to do it you don't have to fussy cut them out it's the most wonderful time of the year and wishing your family health and happiness throughout the coming year then you've got this one which is christmas blessings uh, so that is that um I think that's like a little sort of table setting really isn't it with the uh, wreath that poinsettia the christmas bells and the candles die to be able to cut all of that out again uh, may the magic of the christmas season fill your heart with joy and christmas blessings to you and yours and then lastly heaven and nature sing let heaven and nature sing let her air, 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 air and nature sing um, which is the i think this is really clever actually because you've got the stamp here and then the uh, outer die there to be able to cut the, um, uh, the uh, yes, the outer bit here. And then you've also got this little smaller die to be able to cut the aperture out. So really, really fantastic. And then you've got the sentiments which say, Robins appear when loved ones are near and let heaven and nature sing. All of that for $22.40 or $28. And again, look at the kind of things that you can create. I love this as well, because um, especially with like the stamp and die set, if you're just looking for a really nice way to sort of frame an aperture, even if it's not an aperture with this collection, those do it absolutely brilliantly. Look at this again as well. I mean, how gorgeous is that? That die, um, paper pieced, um, acetate. Um, again, I really like that because it's just a little bit of paper piecing. Because I always fall for the trap of going, oh, you have to paper piece everything. Yeah, exactly. Don't be. No, no. I really like that. Just pick out certain elements and it looks looks stunning just like that does. This again, oh, this is a gorgeous card. A little easel card here using uh, two of the elements from the um, stamps and dies there. So I love the fact that we've sort of created your um, flopper stopper with one <laughs> of the stamps and dies. And then this one here uh, to create that almost like over the edge effect. I'll show you. Uh, have I got one more I can show you here? Uh, oh, this one again. Uh, what? Oh, actually, I'm showing you this one. How gorgeous is that? That one has been created by... Uh, who's that one been created by? Rebecca Davies. Look at that. Beautiful. K-card. That's with a bit... There's a bit of gilding wax going on there, isn't there? Yeah, and then gorgeous, paper pieced. That. Is that paper pieced? No, it, mm. Yeah, red glitter. Gilding wax. Yeah, the uh, Pebio um, gold on there. But this is the kind of thing that you can create with the set. Okay, we don't have the papers, obviously, for that kind of price. But to get all of the hardware in there, amazing. £22.40 or $28 is your platinum price on this. Incredible value for money. Like we said, it's kind of like a craft vault, but with cartload prices this evening. Uh, so do not miss out. Uh, have you got another deal before we have a quick break? I have indeed, yes, because, and I've got them out of the packaging because I want you to see them. Because these initially, these stamps and dies came with a, a, a bit of a, a larger collection to it, some embossing folders and things like that. I want you to see this because this is an incredible deal and the call, it, it literally is buying one, getting two free. This is, this deal's insane. $14.99 or $19.95 and we'll ask you to pay for, and I've took it out of the, I've took it out of the box because, oh, I say the box, but the packaging, because that says woodland embellishments, but you look at the front and you're thinking, hmm, that's beautiful, but I want you to see what it is you're truly getting. These are beautiful stamps. They're really lovely detailed stamps where you've got the um, stag, You've got all the lovely little extra elements, the lovely cottage in the background there, some twigs, and you can really build up a lovely scene with this. Yeah. Now, if you want to do them as a topper, 
you're getting some dyes with them. So you're not having to fussy cut anything. You're getting all the dyes. So that's the set that you're buying. So you're going to buy for the uh, woodland embellishments. And then these two further sets that I'm going to show you, you're getting for absolutely nothing. So the frosted embellishments, it's the lovely snowman. I love this one. Again, the snowman. You've got your little robins there. You've got some extra little details in terms of snowflakes, a bow. You've got your bells. Um, but absolutely glorious. And then, of course, every single one of them has got their own die. You don't need to do any fussy cutting whatsoever because the dies will do that for you. Mm. Um, and that's for everything on there. So that one's coming for free. And then the festive embellishments. Again, another lovely stamp set detailed stamp set looks beautiful and then of course every single one of them have got their own die cut pieces as well so you're not having to do any fussy cutting mm. if you want to use them as toppers as little extra embellishments that's exactly what this is it's called an embellishment collection uh, and it's absolutely lovely 14.99 or 19.95 look at the club platinum price 11.99 or 15.96 mm. don't forget that extra cord to get them even lower mm. than that mm. they're incredible um, we are going to take a short <coughs> little break, I believe, um, right now. Give you opportunity to get those baskets checked out. Um, loads more to come for you over the course of this show. Uh, but listen, we've got some exciting stuff coming your way next week uh, here at Crafters TV. So let's have a little bit of a sneaky peeky look. <laughs> Got the most amazing week lined up for you all week we're focusing on how to get the molds from all of the stuff that you've got in your stash so every day we're going to be doing a fantastic craft your stash show let's have a look at what we've got in store for you hello join me on monday the 2nd of october to craft your stash we're going to be looking at all things bag making including bag making dies and bag making templates join me on tuesday the third for everything you need to know about sticky stuff we're going to be doing a glue school and covering all of the different adhesives and why you need them in your stash wednesday you're going to be with me and i've got an amazing box making 101 plant so all you're going to need is some cardstock now i find pearl card is easier to work with if you're getting started you're going to need a scoring board whether it's your big score your score master your ultimate whatever it is i want you to have scissors your tape pen and a guillotine that's all you're going to need. Come with an open mind. I've got so much to show you. Join me on the 5th for everything ink pad. If you've ever wondered, finesse alcohol, finesse waterproof, pigment, water reactive, shimmer, duet, quick dry, what does it all mean? I'm going to help you understand what all of the ink pads do and how you're going to craft them in your stash and make everything a perfect picture of colour. Join me on the 6th of October where I'm going to give you a little 101 on our Gemini 2 die cutting and embossing machine. Also going to be covering our scoreboards. I'm going to be covering the enveloper and of course a little talk around our fabulous Ultimate Pro and all the amazing things that that does too. So I hope you can join me. Hey guys, Raw, well, I'm so excited about this. Tune in, join in on the 7th of October where I'm going to be showing you all things foil press. Maybe you want to see a little bit more information and detail as to how you use your foil press stamps. I'm going to show you. Maybe you want to use your crafter's companion wafer thin dies. I'm going to show you. Maybe you're going to be foiling your cardstock. I'm going to show you all and so much more. Come along, tune in, join in. If you've still got it in the box, I want you to get it out of the box. So tune in, join in. We're going to have some fun. Hi guys, I'm just here to ask you to come and join me or for my craft your stash show it will be on sunday the 8th of october at 3 p.m this is what we're going to be making i've got a gorgeous little explosion box i'll just give you a quick peek now take the lid off and of course it wouldn't be a jam show if we didn't include some mixed media so i have lots of mixed media products with me including the stencils the glitter paste the gilding wax the glitter glues and together with our vintage snowman collection so hope you can come along for the ride and join me so make sure you tune in from monday the 2nd of october Trust me, this is a week you are not going to want to miss. Um, Craft Your Stash is coming next week. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, lots of love for the um, collections that we've already shown you. Uh, do make sure you check out those uh, carts and check out those uh, baskets. And a lot of you have uh, during that break as well. Um, 
All of these goodies you can see, by the way, on the uh, website. If you shop the show, shop the day, you'll be able to see all of the deals there. Um, but let me show you something which I know is proving very, very popular indeed. Luxury cardstock. Now, I just can't believe again that we're doing uh, the deal which we're going to do here, 1598 of 2552, because you guys seem like more often than not very happy to um, buy these luxury card sets at the full price of 999. However, because we love you so much, more often than not, you get the opportunity to grab these sets at discounted prices. So what you've got in essence here are three sets. We call it your Christmas luxury card pack. I think these colors are obviously gonna work right throughout the year as well, but you know, your silvers and your ice blues uh, and a beautiful purple set that we've got here. Yes, gonna work wonderfully, I think, for more contemporary Christmas um, projects. In each set, I'm sure you know by now, um, are 10 sheets of silver, 10 sheets of silver, 10 sheets of glitter, they're all silver then, 10 sheets of mirror, and then 10 sheets of that uh, matte mirror or satin mirror, as I prefer to sort of describe it as now. You see that particularly in the um, red that we've got um, for you elsewhere on the website. But the glitter cardstock is amazing. It is um, encapsulated glitter, so it's not gonna shed. It's gonna die cut like a dream. Um, and as you can see, the mirror and the matte mirror that we've got here is absolutely stunning. You're getting 30 sheets of each in the silver. Sorry, 10 sheets of each in the silver, 30 sheets in total. Then you're gonna get your ice blue. So again, with this, you get 10 sheets of your glitter cardstock in the silver. Look at that gorgeous blue. Once again, you've got it in the mirror. Once again, you've got it in that stunning matte mirror. And that's where you finish paying because your purple, which I'll get out for you just to show you, you are actually going to get for absolutely free. Nada, nothing, zip, zero, zilch. And look, again, Look at that, nothing comes off like glitter card. It's just, our glitter card is absolutely incredible because it doesn't shed because it is encapsulated, but look, you still get, you want the beard test you? I was gonna, I was gonna do a, a joke then, but I went, look, beard test. Can you hear that scratch? Can you hear that? Got makeup on it now. <laughs> Not glitter, makeup on the card's dark. <laughs> if you rub it on your face and you've got makeup on, it will transfer to the card. <laughs> but if you've got a beard, you won't get glitter in it. Uh, but there's, there's, your, there's your glitter card stock. So you're getting 10 sheets of that. Look at the beautiful mirror card stock as well. Again, you know, this is a construction weight uh, card stock you're getting here. 250 GSM across the three different designs. And then, do you know what? I always used to say, in, in order of preference, love the glitter card, because I think we do the best glitter card in the business. So that would be my number one. Then easily my number two would have been the mirror card. However, I have gone uh, and gone down the line of TV wifey, and I've changed now. The yeah. satin, satin is for stunning. me, that is just luxury, isn't it? It's class. Mm. It's, it's absolutely stunning. I think it looks beautiful in the purple. If you get a chance as well, I know it's not in this bundle, but the red. Oh. My goodness me. It's like velvet. It looks Isn't it? stunning. It's absolutely, honestly, yeah. the satin, because uh, I know we call it a matte mirror, but it's, yeah, but it's, satin it's a is satin the best satin description. finish. Uh, yeah. And it looks absolutely incredible. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it is your uh, luxury cardstock, uh, 1598 or 2552, your luxury cardstock in the blue, in the silver, and in the purple, 15.98 or 25.52. So 90 sheets in total. Uh, please don't be confused with the Centura Pearl. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. This is not Centura no, Pearl. It We've isn't. had a slight little hiccup with the word There's in there. A few hiccups today. Uh, yeah, a few, <laughs> the, there gremlins, you go. the gremlins are out there again. Uh, but it is luxury cardstock. It's it's one of those cardstocks. It, it always used to be our best seller in store, our yeah, cardstock. Yeah, I can understand why. And you can, literally, and to buy it at, at that price today, it's like a, a, a craft room cardstock essential that everybody needs in their life. But it, don't, don't be confused with Central Repel. It isn't Central Repel. Um, that's a type of cardstock. I know our Dean, bless him, is trying to get used to all the different cardstocks. That's definitely luxury. 
It doesn't matter. Call it modern Christmas if you want. It's it's luxury car. <laughs> that's what it's called. It can be modern Christmas. It can be the purple, blue, <clears> and <throat> silver luxury car. It's not Centura Pearl, but it's it is. Not Centura it's, Pearl. It's the luxury car stock. It is. All right. So keep it. Keep it. Keep that. I like some modern, modern I Christmas colours. That's quite cool. Modern that's Christmas colours. That's quite a cool name, yeah. modern. Yeah. yeah. That's what they call me, modern Mosby. You know, so see, modern you know. Mosby. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it up there. Leave it up there. Hey. Hang on a minute. Yes. Well, you got that. That's, this is a craft vault show. Well, what I, you got I, I thought the same before? thing, and I questioned Dean earlier because I said this is craft vault. So why is this in here? That yeah, why is, it, why is it in here? Because I know that I've been on holiday and I know I miss things. I've missed, a, I've missed nearly a couple of weeks um, altogether. Um, so is it still the same price, Dean? Thank you. I, did, I did want to question that. Mm. So this is our fabulous advent calendar. We've popped it in here as a little bit of a cheeky thing. We, are, we haven't really deducted anything off it. However, you get, you get some more off if you multi-buy. Yeah. So if you're multi-buying or you've got a crafty friends that you want to get your ca calendars each, you can multi-buy together and then split the cost. That's yeah. what I would look at this. So our advent calendar, it's just exquisite. I mean, this is a big advent calendar. I think probably one of the biggest that we've done. And it's just full, jam-packed full of crafty goodies. It's that little treat to yourself. I've checked. This is the open one. Oh, it's not the one that Sarah's demolished then. No, because she's demolished it and everything was falling out when yeah. we opened it up. So this is a box fresh one. It hasn't been opened up. You can't see anything. I ain't going to show you anything, so don't ask. Everybody who's already opened theirs, don't spoil it for anybody. Don't tell everybody what's in there because it's a spoiler. We don't want any spoilers. We want you to have that joy of taking that time for yourself. Little crafty treat to yourself. The kids can have the chocolates. Whatever it is the other family members have, but what you've got is something just for yourself to have that lovely, lovely advent calendar full of crafty goodies. And of course, our gorgeous Hottie Scotty himself mm. is going to be doing those videos, those lives uh, throughout the month um, where he's going to be taking you through with the projects. And he's already said, I think he's told you that he's going to work with it, but then he's going to combine lots of things together as well. Yeah. So it's going to be a really good month of lots of uh, videos and lives, uh, whichever round he's doing them. But just follow him on the socials. Honestly, I can't wait to see what he's going to come up with. I don't know what's behind these. Oh, I do. I still don't know what's behind these. Been hanging out with Sarah too long. You what? Look. I said I've been hanging out with Sarah too long. She's practically <laughs> showing me everything. <laughs> but it is a really good advent calendar. Forty nine ninety nine or fifty nine dollars at ninety five, and then that platinum price there for less than forty pounds or less than forty eight dollars. A great price for a great product just for you. It's your treat to yourself. Mm for you to craft with along the month of December. And just to add to that as well, um, th there are 63 items in there. Um, oh, yes, I forgot. And not, because everyone always asks, they're like, oh, well, it's, it's Christmas stuff. It's not all Christmas oh, stuff no, in there. No, it's year no. round stuff that you all can use. All year round stuff, yeah. As yeah. all of our advent calendars have, they've never been focused. Just, what would be the point of yeah. giving your all Christmas stuff when you want to use this all year round? There would be no point whatsoever. Um, I'm really, I'm still tempted to get myself one because I really want to know what's behind each Open door. Open one, go on. I know. And Open one no, door. No, Have a little sneaky look. Go on, Am I allowed? You. Huh? Am I, no, I might get told off if it's, no, is what this traces? Oh, I don't know. I'm not asking. I'm not asking because this one hasn't been opened. Uh. And um, we'll keep it box fresh, yes, producer Dean. I'm not going to get into any trouble then. They can't blame me for nothing then. Have you seen him trying to leave me in Mary Australia? Ah. Back off me on his first day back, he's trying to get me into some right trouble. Not me, missus. No, 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 no. I just thought, you know, if you wanted a little look, you could obviously... I didn't realise it was the box fresh one, because, like, as I say, Sarah, on the other one, she she opened about nine doors. She did not. Well, she opened three one day, and the next day did the same three again, and she just got <laughs> carried... There was one show where she was... I mean, she was just... It was carnage. She was opening oh, every door, you know, and then she hey, stopped warning. What's she like? What is she like? Um, but, yeah, it's a great... But you haven't yet got it. Buy two, get 20% off. Buy three, get 30% off. There's over £70 worth, almost £80 worth, I think Rianne said, uh, of value in the calendar. Uh, right, next up, another redonkulous deal as far as Christmas is concerned. All Christmas-themed items in our craft vault this evening. Uh, 65 or $75 worth of content for £15.20 or $17.60. Uh, these, again, 70% off. They're tw look, this is the thing. 
They're $12.99 each normally, or $14.95. They create the most fantastic cards. These stamps, stamps obviously been uh, well loved, but look, you get the gist, you get the point here. If you just want to stamp these out um, and create a beautiful scene, amazing. Knock yourself out, do it, colour them in, gonna look amazing. Got some sentiments to go with those as well. However, if you're looking at that and thinking, what on earth is that? What is that die? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a bit weird. That's going to cut your aperture so that then you can you, uh, create things like, you know, you shake your cards, can pop a little sentiment in there, whatever you want to do with it. But it creates the aperture where the main focal point stamp fits absolutely brilliantly. So you've got the artwork of the stamp hugging the aperture, if you like. It's absolutely incredible. So with that in mind, you're going to get your sending festive wishes. The next one is upside down. <laughs> the next one, <laughs> oh no, it isn't, is it? It's merrily on high, although it is up. It, mm, hang on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the correct way it should go, isn't it, really? So you're going to definitely have that one on your, uh, on your portrait. Yeah, because you want your bells hanging down, ring-a-ding-dinging, ring because if they were that way, oh, pardon me, uh, well, no, they could be that way. <coughs> Sort of falling into place. <clears throat> anyway, you get the point. You get the stamp and the die again to be able to create that scene. Then you've got this one is definitely that way. The rocking Aww. horse, Christmas fun. Uh, how gorgeous is that? Our neighbour. Not that I look into his window every time I walk past his house, but in his. Uh, <laughs> sound like a bit. That sounded now, a bit. <laughs> weird but it's, and it's hard not to see it because his house is right on the corner, and he's got he has got this gorgeous rocking horse in has the he? window of his house. Yeah, because. Well, he's a bit, a little bit older, and he, um, his grandkids come over quite a lot. Aww. But it, it, it's, it's one of those, like it's, it is literally like that. I always think of this set. Aww. It's one of those proper old wooden ones on the yes, on the rails that sort the of rock, slides yeah. backwards and forth. Unbelievable. <sighs> Beautiful. Mm, mm. I always wanted a rocking horse when I was little. I always wanted one as a child. Yeah. Never got one. I just wish that my daughter now wanted a rocking horse and not a real horse, because <laughs> that's gone on the Christmas list again this year. Every year. Every year. Without fail. Yeah. One. What my aim? One year. I mean, she'll she'll be she'll probably be seventy five by the time I do it. One year, I'm gonna I surprise her when she puts that pony down that list. <laughs> I'll be there. Come on, come on, Neddy, in you come. Woo! Just lead the horse. I'd love to do that one year. Aww. One year, Rodney, to get that pony. <laughs> she keeps going, she, 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 keeps, she keeps looking. There's like a site where you can look at like ponies and horses and stuff. And she, she, she keeps you know, looking. Yeah, she, she goes, oh, Dad, Dad, look at this one. I said, like, oh, right. It's only £8,000. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> only 8000 Has he got a brother as well? We'll get, we'll, do, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get two, shall we? I love the way, you know, 12 years old. Only 8000 Oh, brilliant. Get, get one for me. Uh, then you've got your uh, Robin Redbreast, that is the Happy Christmas Wishes. Again, same sort of formula here, absolutely beautiful. And I love this one as well, which is the um, Glad Tidings, uh, Sending Glad Tidings, which obviously goes, well, you could have it the other way as well, actually. You could have it that way. No, you can have it either way again. You can have it either way. You can, any way you want. Yes, yeah, Charlotte, you can have it that way. Or if you want to go that way, you can. Obviously, if you have it that way, you can't put the sentiments in. Well, technically, <clears throat> technically, you could. Not really. You could. Not really. You could. Not because really. You could put your sentence, so you could use the aperture. Do you know the aperture die? Debbie, sure, she's oh, supposed to stick it up to me. I'm just thinking as a crafter. <laughs> as a crafter, I think I could do. Mm. Have you got the bauble? Have you got, have you, are they the wrong way around? Get them the right way around. There you go. Get your baubles in the right position. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hanging in the right way now. That's it. There we go. Always get your baubles in the right position. <laughs> uh, show you some cards. What is she like? Been back. Been back. One day, and she's telling me what to do with my baubles. <laughs> this is. I mean, I am such a fan of um, of this oh, little rocking horse there. Oh, it's just beautiful. I love that That's one. That's been. Um, this. Um, what do you call it? Uh, glossy highlights there. Yes. On that, really brings that to life. But how? Like again. In, in essence, it's quite a simple set, isn't it? If you Very. know what I mean, but it creates such a standout project. If we get time in the next hour, I'll do a demo with these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you could do it that way, look. But that's See? it. That, but, but, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gorgeous, right. that. Yeah. Um, and then also, you've got your jingly bells in there as well. Ding dong merrily. I really like this set. So if we, 
if we get a chance, we'll do a little, a little Beautiful, demo. Beautiful, I love that one. Yeah, but also to say, it's nice, isn't it, that you've got <clears> the, the stamps which obviously hug the aperture, if you like. Yes. But if you just want to use yeah. the stamps on their own, Exactly, it. yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Mm. Could create a frame with them if you wanted to. Oh, I love that idea. Mm. With that, that's a great idea. Mm. Fifteen pounds twenty. Uh, Seventeen dollars sixty. You're welcome, everybody. Um, let's see. Have we got any comments flying through? Um, Thank you, Evelyn, who's in from sunny Colorado, saying hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, love the cardstock. Have at least three of each of those. That is the luxury cardstock that we showed you. Um, <laughs> Bad Ben, don't listen, Debbie, says Stephanie Theodos. Bad Ben. Bad Ben, don't Bad listen, ben. Debbie. What did don't I do? Listen. What did I say? Mm. Did I? Uh, hello, Ben. Be Hello, Be and he said, Bebby. Hello, Debbie <laughs> and Ben and Team Social. That is from Tracy uh, Kukaka. Hi, Tracy. And Kirsty D says, I've asked for a horse every year since I was about seven. Uh, I keep hoping my mum did adopt a horse in a rescue sanctuary for me, Aww. but it's not the same. But that's why I keep saying to Daisy as well, because she has a loan on a pony, but obviously it's not the same as having your own, <laughs> your own pony, is it really? But uh, there we go. Anyway, shall we have a look at, oh, yes. Christmas layering scene stamps. Yeah, I love these. These are fabulous, super easy to do as well. And they are our layering scene stamps. So you're going to get yourself in each one um, these three stamps that come. And I said three, actually. I wish you could see. In fact, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to do another little rogue one. I'm just going to pull them out so you can see them. Because you literally do get quite a lot of stamps in these. It's not just the three. But the main three create that lovely layering scene. We even give you like a little hint of how you can use them. Oh, yeah. Uh, in terms of your colourways. Uh, but obviously, with the background one, you will use the lighter. And then bringing it right up to that foreground one, use the darker uh, ones. And they just layer over the top of each other. So simple, so easy to do, and so effective as well to make really quick, easy cards. I would highly recommend you use your quick dry ink pads with these so they're non smudging, but they're absolutely fabulous. And the saving on these is incredible. I think it's 71% altogether. That's a big saving. So that one is your over the rooftops. Then you've got the Christmas Village, and the Christmas Village Aww. is another one of my favourites. I love this one. Um, where you've got all of these stamps and then the extra little bits to do all the rest where you've got a sentiment on there you've got the moon in the background as well um, and lots of lovely um, extra embellishments to really add lots of layering detail and then lastly in this one is the enjoy the season and again each one has got their own individual stamps if i just turn that around you can see all the individual stamps there including a lovely snowy scene one uh, sentiments in there as well for you to mix and match with um, and simply layer them on top of each other again super simple super easy to use but you get some really striking effects when you use these the price of these though tonight look at that price 13 pounds or 15 dollars and you will oh three sets three sets sorry tw yeah. i just twigged i know for 10 pounds 40 or 12 uh, of 12 dollars that's an incredible price. It really, really is. I love this uh, stamp set. It is fabulous. Um, and I'm definitely going to say that's another steal of the show. Look at the price for all three. Get your quick dry inks out. Stamp to your heart's content. And I promise you, you'll create some really lovely stunning effects. I would show you some samples. However, I don't have any ear to show you. Oh. So I know it's typical. It's typical. But that really speaks for itself. They're absolutely fantastic stamps very easy to use um, and very easy to layer up as well to create some really lovely wow factors every single time um absolutely do you know what i keep thinking oh we're, ne we're not going to better uh with the next deal because we've seen some incredible prices but then you know something like that is thrown your way and then this next deal well i mean i i can't believe this so you know um double-sided dies the patented technology that we do you know the dies that you can only get from us uh we're doing a deal next where we go, have two of the collections of the double-sided uh, dies, patented technology that you can't get anywhere else. And then we go, oh, but actually, you need to be able to use these, the uh, double-sided plates, which you would normally have to go and buy separately. Well, in this deal, we're giving you the plates and two sets of the dies for £15. Or $19. Uh, I'm sure... I've written some notes about those. Yeah, basically, you're paying for one of the um, sets here, the Joyful Wreath, 
and then it's like we're giving you the second one, the snowflake mandala, and those double-sided cutting plates for nothing. Um, it, it's bonkers, really. It's two dies you're going to get actually in total, but each of the dies has um, the uh, the cutting element. So what, what you're able to do here is, if I show you around the back here, cut all of these different elements out in one pass. So in essence, with one pass of your machine, you've got all the elements to be able to create that amazing uh, little wreath. I love these as well for the fact that they're that sort of size that they're brilliant for like your... Um, using your scraps aren't they you know the smaller box. the bit box, bit box the gubbins yes. box yeah. um so they're absolutely perfect for that so that's the first one you're paying for that and then basically we're going have the um joyful mandala or the snowflake mandala again double sided two dies you're getting there to create all of the elements then to be able to layer up to create that really detailed mandala you're getting that for free which i think um is even I think more expensive than the uh, the joyful wreath and then for free you're getting your uh, cutting plates these of course to be used with your Gemini I'm guessing as well then if you've got the Gemini 2 you'd use these just as normal with the two would you Debbie so that again sorry Ben if you've got the Gemini 2 you just use these as normal oh with yeah. The two. yeah 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 exactly the same so yeah. with your G2 um, you will just use two outside cutting plates, so yeah. those now white, mm -hmm. um, and sandwich those in the centre. So they, they, so the die gets sandwiched between the two pieces of cardstock. They then get sandwiched between the green plates, and they then get sandwiched between the two cutting plates. It's that simple. It's very easy to do, and you can use it in your G2 as well as your original machine. That is a try me price tonight for patented technology, and as I say, the fact that we give you the plates in that deal really is incredible 15 pounds 20 19 dollars 20 take it off our hands if you've never tried our um double-sided dies before if the reason was the price then well we sorted that out and if the reason was well i'll buy the dies but then i've got to spend extra to get the plate we've taken that off your hands as well tonight so it's a great opportunity uh, to jump in and grab those with a 45.97 58.93 saving uh, and hello to crafty chimp who says uh yay it's the weekend it is the weekend is all well, it is, isn't it? Here in the UK, seven o'clock. Uh, the weekend is with it. And I'm doing it in Friday night. It's Sunday, it's Sunday. I know because you can't help yourself yeah. every time you hear the Friday. You've got to, you've got to have a little boogie on down at the same time, aren't you? Yeah, lo I love Friday. Normally, I don't. You, I normally I'm usually working the weekend. Oh yeah, oh so yeah. So it's really nice that I'm not uh, spoiling me. Come back off holiday, work the weekend. Absolutely not. You've got that genuine Friday feeling. Yeah, definitely. Boom. It's um, very unusual. Hello also to Glennis, who says, Ben, uh, went from large pony to a jumper with my oldest daughter. She's still riding and now teaching, doing, now teaching riding at 46. Aww. The passion never goes away. Aww. Aww. Um, oh, and Ka well, this isn't very nice. Karen, Karen says, Ben, time to accept that Oh, time to accept the fact Miss D knows more than you and is certainly more talented. Yeah, yeah, you. Me? That's a bit of a dagger to the heart, that. <laughs> Ouch. I'm actually, I'm actually like, what, me? Yeah. I thought that were lovely. I've got right, that. thank you very much. Who was that? Who was that that, that was, said that? Um, Karen Peterson. Thank you. That's, that's lovely, thank you. I'll take that. But it's not lovely for me. <laughs> that really hurt quite a bit, that, actually. Oh, I don't know if I can carry on. <laughs> uh, shall, I, shall, I, shall I carry on with a lovely deal for you? You finish off. I, I, I'm out 58 that minutes. If you, 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 you carry on. Um, happy weekend, everybody. See ya. <laughs> hey, God, I love you, Ben. <laughs> shall, I, shall I tell you what? I'm going to give you a really, really good deal. Ignore what's on the screen at the minute, because that was Ben's deal. That was, ben, that was Ben's. I'm going to give you a really good one. Are you ready to put those? Uh, are you ready to put this in? Because I've got a really fabulous create creator card die. Um, <laughs> oh, Cameron, you've cracked me up. You really. <laughs> Charlotte, Charlotte, 
Go on, go and have a little look at him. Go and have a little look. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. That was probably one of the best comments. Carry on, Debbie. <laughs> Sides are aching, stop it. <laughs> I'm glad you're laughing. Uh, they should never have cast you as a dead body. When that, uh, what were it, that... Um, oh, mid of murders. That was the one where you didn't actually get to the body scene, did you? Anyway, you ended up just being a picture because these acting skills are amazing, Karen. Karen, they're amazing, his acting Who skills. Who says I'm acting? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway, carry on. Oh! Back in the building, Debbie, back in the building. <laughs> Whoop! Excuse me. Create a card, pop out, die. Um, you're going to absolutely. By the way, everybody, this. sorry, um, just very quickly, I'm only messing about. Susie's worried now. Uh, I'm, only, <laughs> I'm only messing about. She has, Susie's worried and she's upset. She, I'll, I'll read it out if you want. <laughs> it's all good. Carry on, Debbie. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Create a card, sensational stuff, like this die I love because not only does it create a card, but it creates something like a really sensational pop out feature as well. Four pounds ninety nine or six dollars forty seven. That's before you take off your club membership price because the lowest is going to go to. And this is this will cover a lot of people because there are a lot of people in our platinum club or brand new to Club Inspire today. Three pounds ninety nine or five dollars eighteen. And I do love this. I'm I'm going to show you the black and white concept because the die is absolutely huge. But look at that wow factor. And what I love about this is it that creates the pop out in two different ways. So it's got an innie and an outie. So it creates that wow every single time. I cannot get over the price. It's absolutely incredible price for a really big die. And we've got the instruction sheet in there for nice. you as well to show you how to put and construct your card together. Once you've got the um, how, to put, how to put that together and how to do it, you're going to be able to take it into all sorts of different kind of effects. Um, I'm not even going to show any samples. The price speaks for itself. It's one of those amazing deals that you can get hold of tonight for look at the lowest price, $3.99 or $5.18. Absolutely stellar deals tonight that we've got on the show. And this really is a cracking price tonight. Ben, have you recovered? I don't know if I'll ever recover, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I can't, I'm like putting out all the best acting skills and all you're doing is laughing over there. Oh, because it did tickle me, Ben. It did tickle Stephanie me. Stephanie said, like I said, bad Ben today. I'm not being <laughs> bad. I feel like you guys are like, like throwing, like if you could, like you're throwing like virtual rocks at me. <laughs> A lesser presenter would have walked, would have gone <laughs> with those kind of comments. See, there you all go. And oh, he's never on Crafters TV anymore. He's always off, you know, doing QB. <laughs> oh, no wonder he's there. There's no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Ben! <laughs> Debbie, you make me laugh. Oh God! Oh, I got a sweat on. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm sure the feeling's mutual from most. Um, <laughs> I'm just enjoying making you laugh. Uh, right, quick one. Oh yes, the <laughs> Christmas 3D scene uh, scene builder, stamp and die. Oh dear, uh, this is Christmas Eve. I haven't got, again, I've only got the boards to show you really, so the best I can do is kind of show you the packaging um, as to uh, what, what you can create with these. But they, do you know what I always think about these? They're like a cross between, aren't they? Because you've got your little um, element here. To be, they're a cross between like your zigzags and then also your little, do you remember those little box? dies we yes. have because yeah. you can create the the 3d effect with the zigzag but then you can also create almost like a little mini box on your card as well with elements yeah. popping up as well and and do you know your double z fold cards yeah look lovely on those yeah really look lovely um but so that in essence is what you're going to be doing with this if you want to use it as 
the way it was developed to create you know absolutely amazing scenes like this but once again you know think about all of the elements that you get within this and all of the different things that you could be doing when you i don't know just take some of the stamps for example and the dies that you've got to use elsewhere it's a fantastic um system and for well it's half price isn't it basically if you are paying that 13.49 or 16.47 um, if you're platinum, £10.79 or $13.18, um, an incredible deal, absolutely, um, on that one. Right, uh, Donna says, lol, Ben, we love you. Might be a bit too late for that now. Uh, no, thank you, I love you guys too. Uh, love, Ben and Debbie together, says Ords29. We have a laugh, don't we? We have a giggle. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it was Debbie on my last day of the week, or maybe my last day ever. Uh, Stephanie says, oh, we love you, Ben. Oh, um, And Christy Mahoney says, that will teach you, Ben, to leave us. <laughs> Stop it, lol. Do you know what? If I got the choice, I, I just get told, I just get sent an email. I don't choose to, you know, go and do the other bits and pieces. They just go, oh, you, over there, go and do that thing. And so I, but it's lovely to be back. <laughs> well, I've said that. <laughs> After today, I'm not back on Crafters TV till Wednesday. <laughs> But, good news, or bad news as the case may be, the following week when we've got that, you know, the, the, <laughs> that thing, you'll be sick of the sight of me. I'm on, I'm on non-stop for about two weeks, so uh, apologies in advance. Um, uh, ben says, Mimi George, it's such a compliment that we miss you and you bring fun and laughter every day. Oh, thank you. So when you are gone, we notice. Oh, that's lovely. That's there you go. Feel that makes now. up for the arrow to the heart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a short break now just so I can compose myself and uh, Debbie can wipe away the tears. I think the tears have laughed. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, but listen, if you've got stuff in your baskets, get them checked out. As I've said, we have got that code website 20. Usual T's and C's apply on that. But what I will be doing, as I've said all along, is just whacking that in. If you're checking out, sticking website 20 in the box. And if you've got something which is applicable for that code in your uh, checkout basket, then obviously it will apply. Uh, we'll come back in about four or five minutes time. Some more deals to show you. We'll show you some of the hot deals too. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in about four or five minutes. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye.
Pokey tools and paper pads, gilding, wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, Brias, misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger daubers, acetates, stencils, glue guns, and templates, Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG, Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi, Triblend brush pens, aqua pens and aqua blends, illustrators, classics and tri blends, and color blends, and glitter pens, and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators, envelope box creators, stamping platforms, box of boards, the big score and scoreboard, Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card, craft kits, wadding and adhesive sheets, glass mats, guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice and zinc trays, mitre tools and binding tools and tote bags, USBs, bone folders and punches, low tack tape and brushes, stamens, mailboard, flower forming foam. Alpine markers, DVDs, spoke with Triton pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft nice for press, sparkle pots, and churro pan and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, body bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more tools. Water reactive ink pads, body bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away. Dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor card, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping card, ultimate Pro and the rotating design board. Opta, but first, bump and deep yum. Sarah, signature collections. And don't forget discovery kits. Oh, and there's foam pads. Think that's it. One final thing. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Welcome back. Now, Debbie's still singing it. I've never seen that one in eight. I forgot that we did that one. That was a couple of years ago, I think. It is a good, fun little ditty. It is fun. Um, yeah, I think it was two years ago. What year are we in? 2023. Two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago, I think. Uh, Laurie says, Ben, you and Debbie make the show. Love the both of you. Thank you, Laurie. We enjoy working. Well, we all enjoy working together, you know, but, you know, TV husband and wifey. Mr. and Mrs. Craft, as you called us last time. <laughs> uh, and Michael Adams says, great to see you both back together. Uh, looking like a trip to the Chesterfield store next week. Um, I'll be taking my wife to add to her crafting stock, says Michael Adams. Oh, lovely. Love Chesterfield. Obviously, yeah. Chesterfield is a big piece of my heart. Yeah. It always has. It always will. Uh, so yeah, enjoy shopping, enjoy, enjoy, because it really is a fantastic store. Um, do you know what? We are going to break things up just a little bit now. Going to br br break it down, and um, we are going to do a little demo. Because you know what we thought. We've, to be honest, we've rattled through the majority of the deals. If you missed any of them, you can um, check the shop, the show page on the website. Uh, so we thought, do you know what? Let's take one of the collections. This is the one that got me into trouble. Um, <laughs> so why not do a, a demo with this? Have I got that the right way? Uh, okay, I'll show you this way again. So this is the Christmas floral frames selection. All right, so this way you can read the sentiments. That way the baubles are hanging the correct way. So you've got that set. You've got the set with the Robin Red Breast. And as you can see, as I explained uh, about 10 minutes or so ago, you get the uh, aperture and then your stamp, of course, sits really nicely uh, and snugly within the cut of the aperture. If you just want to use the stamp on its own, absolutely you can, and you get sentiments with each and every one of the collections. That's the Christmas Fun, which is the uh, rocking horse. Absolutely love that. Then you're going to get your Jingly Bells, which is called Merry on High. I think all of these are available um, individually as well, if you do want to go down that route, but why would you when you can get the whole collection for £15 or £17.60 if you're part of them? And then you've also got your Sending fest uh, Festive Christmas Wishes, which again, I absolutely love. It's that sort of Christmassy village scene. Um, and again, you get a couple of sentiments which you can mix and match across the collection. £15.20 Platinum, $17.60 uh, if you're shopping in the US and you're a Platinum member. And we are going to have a little look at these. We so are indeed. I'm going to use Sending Festive using? Wishes. Nice. Like this one. And I'm going to keep it nice and simple as well, even though it's a craft vault. Oh my God, things are flying on back of me now. Cause we've got a fan. Have you seen where the fan is? Pardon? <clears throat> See where they put the fans? The fans? The fans. Your fans, of course. Uh, the fans to keep us nice and cool in here. Oh, yours is... They're up there. Mine's never on, though. Is it never on? How do they turn that on? I have no idea. They climb up ladders. Is yours on? Yes. It's lovely. Keep getting a nice little flick of um, hair at the back of me and it's just keeping me nice and cool. 
Yeah, love it. Oh, so you prefer it there than where it was before? Yes, absolutely. Whoever ingenious idea thought of that, it's got to be Liam. Um, got to be Liam. Does that, not, does that not cause more problems, though, if you're using like, <clears throat> Well, if you were using gilding, gilding flakes, flakes <clears throat> something that's got uh, glitter, things mm. that move, then it could be a bit of a problem, um, including the uh, foil press. So if you've got the foil press on and you're popping some, some cool air onto it, it can affect the... Um, it can affect the outcome. Uh, so, yeah, so just bear that in mind <clears throat> for all the other ones. But while I'm here, I'm loving it. I just stand back here and I keep getting a white waft. It's just delicious. It's little delicious. Bit delicious. It's a bit like a Beyonce moment where things start flying up. You know the moments when the videos and she's got things going, with her hair all yeah. going like... That's exactly what that is uh, from behind. Ah, uh, I see. From behind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right, are you ready? <laughs> Uh, so we're going to use this stamp now. It comes as a nice big stamp set and then you've got two separate um, uh, sentiments that you can add into there as well. Um, the die piece itself is the bit that will create the aperture that sticks in, but we do that afterwards. We always stamp first and then create that. Um, now I'm going to use um, <clears throat> rustic brown for a change. Oh no, I'm not. I'm using pebble. Oh. That'd be your big fibber. Um, I, mean, I am using our 8x8 eight eight platform though. Um, just make sure, and do you know what I'm going to do? Because that's got a, that is quite a good stamp with a big suction to it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, this is when Debbie would use, um, she would use the spray. Repre Pardon you. What was that? Where did that come from? I heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Oh. Never. Sounded like it were in the room. No, it came through the speakers in the studio. Yeah, it did. Pring. Yeah, a bit yeah. like a computer when a computer goes on. Yeah. Pring. Yeah, we heard it, Charlotte. We did, Charlotte. Yeah, it didn't come through your microphone. I think everybody heard that one. <laughs> she's now checking because she's like, what's going off there? What's going off? Right, I've just taped it down because of the suction of the stamp. This is port photopolymer uh, quality as well, so... Oh! What was that? I don't know. That was music. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Apparently, Jake has just gesticulated at me from the corridor. Apparently, it was Jake's computer that went... Bring! Oh, was it Jake's? Yeah, it did sound like it was in here, though. It did oh, no, sound... it was your Charlotte, was it? Oh. I say, it sounded like it came... It, 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 it was like Charlotte. It was, yeah, was it Charlotte? Yeah, it was, apparently. Incredible. Uh, well, mm. that, that was being echoed by a computer sound. Ben. <laughs> echoed by a computer... Not a motorbike or a... No. A, like a... Mm, from yeah. behind us. Exactly. The, the, the always cracks me up, that bit with Craig. Her. I laughed my head off and he spat my coffee out because it was the way he did it, the timing that he did it in. Oh, Craig? Craig with oh, the yeah. truck when it went <laughs> like that, that Her. noise it made, and he just went, oh, pardon me. Oh, <laughs> where is this? Excuse me. I absolutely creased myself with that one. Uh, but, yeah, we, we normally get echoed by things that go off behind us on the industrial estates, not from inside the building. No one there, though, now, is there, you see? Well, that's the thing. Not yeah. too many people. No. Nope. Uh, catch that four doing their job on a, at 20 on past Friday. 7 on a Friday night. <laughs> We're here for you guys. <laughs> We're here for you guys. Exactly. Now, I'm just going to stamp that down. Now, the reason I am using my 8x8 platform with the magnetic um, to hold it into place is so that if I have missed anywhere, I can go back in. I do love using, not all the time, things like the black one. I think using something like pebble oh, or yeah. brown gives it a really... Or the flagstone, to be fair, mm. gives it a really lovely, um, softer look. That's so does it make a massive difference in the whole kind of course of things when you think you're going no. to colour it in anyway? No. Because no. it, in it's a, it depends on the look you're going for. Now, I've done this once before this, and people loved it, so I'm going to do it again um, just to show you. But again, doesn't that look... It's just such a gorgeous scene. And whether or not you just want to use that fully without actually popping an aperture in there, um, I absolutely adore this. Mm. It really is beautiful. Um, and I'm just going to take off my tips. I'm not leaving that on there. Otherwise, the guys that are coming in this weekend, they will be blaming me with every... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with good reason, because it would it would be me on this occasion. Uh, however, I'm just going to lift that and just get that, because I've, I've created that lovely stamped image. Get that on as well. I don't use... I know Debbie uses the, the spray a lot, but I don't tend to use a spray. I use our low-tack tape. Oh, yeah. Just to hold it in place, because um, sometimes it can move. And I say that because those, those are great to hold it down, but sometimes... Um, pressure and the suction from a really good quality stamp can lift your paper so it like goes up like that when you're stamping and that's the last thing you want because you don't want mm. that moving um, so that's that lovely design now 
This one was done in rustic brown, so can you see the difference between uh, the two? Can you see this is a bit more of a warmer? A little bit, yeah. 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 Um, they look lovely. You can go in black if you wanted to go in black as well, but um, for me, uh, purpose-wise, um, I'm just going to show you a little bit that you can do with it. So I'm going to bring in, let me bring in a bit of a spare card stock. Let me just grab a spare piece of card. Always put like a little bit of blotting paper underneath. And then I'm going to use one of our tri-blends. Um, I've gone with a brown grey with this one. You can use any of the greys. Um, but I'm going to come in and just do a tad bit of colouring. Because normally you would think, yeah, you could really colour this in. Red berries, green, and things mm. like that. Mm, but no. We're going with a more oh. um, sepia, sepia kind tones. of photo look. And photo look. A photo. Oh, photo. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I said? Fo Fo photo. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a photo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not a real toe, it's a photo. <laughs> oh, dear. You can tell it's getting late when you're in things like that, can't you? A photo. A photo. <laughs> you think I... <laughs> Oh, we've still got 35 minutes of the show left. <laughs> oh, dear. Photo. A photo. <sighs> photo. No, I can't get out of my head. Hmm. Oh, dear, Ben. What have we been like today, oh, eh? Oh, what a day. What, what a, day. a day. We're going to need the weekend off, aren't we? I was just going to say the same. We're going to need that weekend off. We are... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> just, just to say as well, um, Donna says, Donna Sunshine, Ben, are you on vacation? No, I'm not on vacation. I've just, I, I've just, well, I went last week at <laughs> Dean, actually. And like somebody we know. No, I'm not, here, I'm, not here, I'm not here tomorrow and Sunday because I've done me <laughs> quote for this week. And then they've given me some extra days off next week um, for the fact that I'm going to be here. In preparation for the... In do, preparation do, 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 for... Yeah. Do, yeah. Do, 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 do. Are we doing a wedding thing? Do, 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 do. <laughs> In preparation for my wedding, uh, which apparently is coming up the week after. <laughs> yep. uh, dear, I meant to say. Du, 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 du. That's the one I was going with. It's going to be good, isn't it? Oh, God, it's going to be fab. It it, is that is, that fab. is obviously. Everyone knows that's coming, right? Of course they do. Yeah, the, the, the week after next. I mean, October's a special month anyway, because it's my birthday month. Obviously. You, I mean, you, it's kind of like birthday starts the day before birthday, because that's your birthday. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that one, Ben. I like yeah. that one. I think maybe we should do something um, special. And everybody send Debbie lots of love on Sunday the 8th. The yeah, Jan Janzi, birthday. I won't be here. <laughs> Janzi, I think she, Jan's got a crafty staff show. Uh, Can't remember who she's with, actually. Um, but yeah, it's not me. I won't be here on my birthday. What are you going to be doing? Any plans? Uh, no, I haven't, actually. I haven't got any plans at the moment. My, do my eldest daughter said, you can come down to me, Mum. But then I thought, oh, really, really, I, I need to be at home this time because I've just had a week away with her. And if I did that, I'd upset me, uh, my son and my, do my youngest daughter. Yeah. And obviously the grandkid isn't, so I, I can't go down there. Plus, then she did decide to say to me, well, I'm working actually anyway, Mum, so you'll be on your own. I'm like, well, there you go. I ain't coming <laughs> <laughs> because uh, that's not happening. Um, but, yeah, um, I haven't planned yet. I haven't decided. So it's my mm. little niece's birth... Her, her, her youngest son is one the day before. Um, um, and they've got plans to do, like, a meal out. And then on, the, on my actual birthday... Going into my birthday, they're going to Gulliver's Gulliver's Kingdom. Oh, Gulliver's Kingdom. Yeah, they asked me if I wanted to go. I was like, That's in Derby, Derbyshire, isn't it? Oh, you not I know. The rides aren't that bad there. If that's what you're worried about. I, I'm not going. No. No, I'm not they're going. Quite it's, tame. Not, it's not for me. It's not oh. for me for my birthday. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do to be fair, Ben. But um, I'm pretty sure I'll be celebrating it with uh, my loved ones. Ah. Um, well, although whatever you some do. of them will be missing because they're going to Gulliver's Kingdom. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Yeah. Uh, now, I've just chosen one tri-blend, and you can start to see how I've started to colour this in. Now, when you colour it all in, Ben, this is the look it'll create. And it really oh. is quite a lovely sepia kind of tone. Taking you back in time. Yeah, Monochrome. yeah, sometimes that's all you need. You don't need the add of colour. And I think it looks really effective. I do. Like I said, I've done this once before and people absolutely loved it. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to repeat it again. And it's one tri-blend colour. 
And this one is the brown grey blend that I've used, but you can use any height. I squared look lovely with it as well. Um, and then all you're going to do is you're going to place your die, and you'll see your die now fits perfectly around the treetops and around the fern or off your holly and ivy. Um, and you're just going to place that in and die cut that through. So I'm just going to find my low tack tape and we'll run that through. Um, Candy just said, this is so pretty, just like that. Um, is what you are doing beautiful lighter to darker shades of the same color group um yeah i think that's called monochrome yes but not sure yeah, yeah it is it is that monochrome effect and interesting as well so again with this i mean you, you are proving so you stamped and then you dark your now normally it. right normally ben i would at this stage put the dye on uh, but i realized <clears throat> i mean i did this a while ago so um i realized in my error I haven't died because normally I wouldn't spend all this time colouring and then put the dye in for it to move. So I would, at that stage, when you've stamped it, pop your dye in and then do the colouring. Uh, because, as we all know, and it's happened to me once or twice, oh, and Debbie's yeah. praying it doesn't happen tonight. Slippage. Slippage, yes, and it does happen, believe you me. Um, however, I'm going to go in with the light uh, because that is a very straightforward dye. Um, my Craft Your Stash show is actually based on uh, the Gemini is going to be the main focus of that show. And I'm going to take you through lots of different things that you're going to do with your Gemini, whether it be the original or whether it be the G2. And we're going to cover all of that, all of the different ways that you can die cut, how to use your plate combinations and things like that. And then I've got some other little bits and uh, little bit extras in there as well. When's that Friday? Mine's Friday the 6th. Yeah. Yes, Friday the 6th. Um, and then when you do that, when you take that off, and fingers crossed it hasn't gone, oh, for you, yes, for you. But literally, that's all you do to create that out. So it actually worked in my favour today. Thank the Lord is all I'm going to say. And then all that I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a little bit of decorative paper. So I've got myself a little bit of a stepper card. Mm -hmm. I say a stepper card. It's an easel, really. It's not a stepper, Debbie could be a step if you wanted it to uh, be but it literally is a five by seven mm. that's folded at the halfway mark and then the halfway a little bit like a fold back or maybe a reversed easel but on this occasion it's going to be an uh, an actual easel card but i call it the different it's like the what do they call that easel where it's like this one at the front uh it's just an easel isn't it i think so oh my god you can tell it's getting late ben you can tell it's getting late <sighs> Let's pop some bits down. Oh, what, I've got myself a mat and layer. Let's oh. bring in. Um, I thought you said a half card easel. I a half I card thought, easel. No. Oh, no. Mm. You said we got half an hour left on the show. Is that what you said? Really? Yeah. Well, where's that gone? That's flown by. And it's absolutely flown the it last hour and a half. It's flown by. Absolutely yeah. has. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Debbie, have you cut your. Oh, do you know? You can. And fire. What are you done? What's going on? Just checking. Yeah, we're using my wrong card. <laughs> oh. Ooh, nearly there. Nearly. There we go. Let me just pop that base down. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, contrast underneath. Now, uh, the papers that I've chosen... Oh, wow, they're lovely. I think it'll look nice with that one. Yeah, I'm going to go yeah. with that one. Um, so I'm just going to add this down first. It's a bit like snow. Yes, I mean, a little big, bit like a fake big, snow big effect. snowflakes compared to the size of the village, but it does look a little bit like <laughs> snow. So I'm just going to put that underneath. Mm -hmm. Let's get that lined up before you stick that down, Debbie. Could use wet glue at this point if you're not confident in using our tape pens and going straight on there. Um, however, I think I've got away with that one, OK? Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to lift that a little bit. Or you could keep it flat. I suppose it depends what you want to do. And it's slightly, just slightly bigger than the actual background paper. So I'm going to use some foam pads. I've got some foam pads here. Do you know what? When I saw, saw, when I saw, 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 when I saw you starting to colour this in yeah. that sort of monochromatic style, I didn't think this was going to be uh, up my personal street. But really? Or mm, like... Yeah, I. But that now I see you putting this together. I'm really, really liking the the effect because, like you say, something is just a little bit different, isn't it? Just a bit different. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, because we're always so used to using bright, yeah. gorgeous, Christmassy colours. That's it. But you don't have to. No. That's not. You know, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, it is that monochrome. It's a little bit softer as well because I've used the browns and rather than the ice grey, which is a more cooler tone. This is the brown grey, which is the more warmer of that family uh, of greys um, and looks really good with um, 
the right ink pad as well and I'm just going to pop that just over let's see if I've got that lined up properly there we go line that up and then that is going to sit onto the front part of my easel but I'm not going to I could have added like another square piece but I quite like it where it just hangs over the edge it gives it a really nice little feel to it as well uh, so I'm going to come in and just add tape not all the way to the end though because remember I've cut it a little bit shorter mm -hmm. um, so popping that on let's come in about there perfect and then seal that down. And then, of course, I've got my sentiments. And I need, of course, I need a flopper stopper because you've got to have one to stop <laughs> your card from flopping over. You've got to have so a flopper we'll, stopper. I love, a, I love a flopper stopper. <laughs> That's uh, the only thing that I call it now, thanks to you. Is that what you call it too? Yeah, it's, it's the best way to describe it, isn't it? It is. It's flopper to stop stopper. things from flopping over. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Um, Seriously, it just happened to me one day and I, I can't... I, I, you know what I'm like with words, Ben? I'm absolutely shocking sometimes with words. I'm, I'm with you. Some days... Oh, uh, some days. Yeah. And I remember using it down at Hobby Maker and the guys down there were like, Oh, what? <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, it, it's just stuck with me since. Yeah. Um, but yes, that's the way I've always described it. A flopper. Stopper. Exactly. Exactly. Can I just say, I know you've not quite finished it yet, but the comments coming in about this card... Mwah. Oh, really? A lot of love for this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, a lot of love for this. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you very much. And then I'm just going to put the sentiment, and I'm going to tuck it underneath. Let's pop that underneath there, which is... I, can't, I mean, actually, I could put that on my uh, flopper stop a bit, but I think I'm going to have it just underneath there. Sending, sending festive wishes from our home to yours. And there you go. And I, I would add a little gem or two, but I haven't got any gems with me. Uh, but just to show you that these die, I mean, the die set, the price is incredible anyway. Very easy to do. And sometimes don't overcomplicate it with all those colours. Sometimes take that one colour, one tri-blend, that's all it was, uh, to create that lovely effect um, and create that lovely scene, which gives you a really rustic kind of Christmas feel to it. Do you know what it sort of reminds me of? I'm not going to explain this very well. But, okay. Um, sometimes, like with, it's like Disney movies or like fairy tales, when they do the whole thing at the start of the um, movie, where they open the book up, and then it shows like the scene in like in like the black and white and the once upon a time bit, and then when it gets into the actual like animation of the movie, the black and white scene comes into colour. Oh Have yeah. Have I explained that well? That's yes. what that reminds me of. Thank you. Oh, Charlotte's saying yes, it does in my ear. Um, yeah, it, that, it's got that feel about it. It's very magical i think that and who'd have thought thought that because well i certainly would never have thought of like you know coloring that in in that color so uh, amazing right uh, is your christmas floor frame selection do you want to see all of them again um that you're going to be getting just here uh so uh, all of the colors that you're going to be uh, oh, colors all of the uh, stamps and dies that you're going to be getting here uh, for 15 pounds 20 or 17 dollars 60 just incredible so uh, you have got the sending festive wishes so that's the one that debbie's just used and look i mean totally different but this is the way you would think isn't it this is the way i would certainly go yeah. with it that's the sort of traditional way but again have a play you know e e experiment see, see how things work for you that's the joy uh, of crafting isn't it is the fact that you can just have a bit of a play there's no rights or wrongs you know uh, I, I just think you know enjoy the set that you've got here especially for this price today uh, so that is your sending festive wishes then you are going to get this which is the merrily on high pop it that way then you see the bells in their correct order and again, you've got the die to be able to cut the aperture. There is nothing to stop you, of course, from just using the bells on their own in stamp form. And then, of course, you've got the uh, ding dong merrily on high and ring out those bell sentiments. This is the uh, rocking horse. Love that. Um, and again, you know, just so much to um, colour there. The stamp on its own is just going to look absolutely beautiful. And of course, you've got the sentiments in there too. May your Christmas be filled uh, with fun and laughter and tis the season to be jolly. This is gorgeous as well. The happy Christmas wishes with that beautiful uh, festive Robin Redbreast. Happy Christmas wishes and celebrate the festive season. And then lastly in the set is sending glad tidings. So you can see you've got your glad tidings and your deck the hall in stamp form. You've got that main uh, big stamp, which of course is all of those beautiful ornaments. And then the die to be able to cut the aperture uh, to place your stamp around. 
Just another great example of the deals that we're doing on our craft vault um, this evening. £15.20 or $17.60 is incredible a uh, few comments and then we're going to give you time to check out those baskets uh, the card is stunning says the crafty chimp uh, and says "Ooh, pretty looks like some sheena has rubbed off on debbie <laughs> uh, stunning debbie says stephanie theodos love the card says Rhonda. sarah ibbotson says such a beautiful card debbie uh, sue benson says very neat um shades of sheena oh there we go let's see that name again um i'll sheena. take that that's well, a massive compliment Sheila Faulkner says that card is beautiful, gorgeous card. Debbie says Mary Pat. Cat Butt says gorgeous. Debbie, you are so clever. I'm getting these. What a night to pick them up, Cat. Love that. Uh, Laurie says I love this card. Looks like an old picture. It's really got that effect to it, hasn't it? Uh, and Colin Pasadi says just stunning. Love this. Never would have thought to do this. Well, that's what we're here for uh, to give you that kind of inspiration so that you're taking this set away tonight at a smash down ridiculous price and you're going away going, I'm going to try that. I'm going to do what Debbie did. That's what we want you to do. And like you said, if you do um, create these um, cards, these projects, make sure you uh, tag us in them when you put them into uh, on Facebook or in one of the groups, or indeed if you want to send them into us, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Oh, by the way, just before we go to a quick break, guys in the gallery, um, earlier on, did, um, did the lady who had the collie send in the picture? Oh, please, can we see that? Oh, oh, photos now or after the break? Tell you what, we're going to do a photo gallery after the break. Um, because we're going to see Holly the Collie and we're also going to see some of the pictures that you guys have sent in as well and we will recap on some of the uh, best deals and we'll do the vote for the demo of the day and demo of the oh actually no demo of the show will be that one because that was the only demo that we've done so we'll do the demo of the day vote uh, I'm talking really quickly go to the checkouts we'll see you in about five minutes we have got the most amazing week lined up for you all week we're focusing on how to get the most from all of the stuff that you've got in your stash. So every day we're going to be doing a fantastic craft your stash show. Let's have a look at what we've got in store for you. Hello, join me on Monday the 2nd of October to craft your stash. We're going to be looking at all things bag making, including bag making dies and bag making templates. Join me on Tuesday the 3rd for everything you need to know about sticky stuff. We're going to be doing a glue school and covering all of the different adhesives and why you need them in your stash. Wednesday, you're going to be with me and I've got an amazing box making 101 planned. So all you're going to need is some cardstock. Now I find pearl card is easier to work with if you're getting started. You're going to need a scoring board, whether it's your big score, your score master, your ultimate, whatever it is. I want you to have scissors, your tape pen and a guillotine. That's all you're going to need. Come with an open mind. I've got so much to show you. Join me on the 5th for everything ink pad. If you've ever wondered, finesse alcohol, finesse waterproof, pigment, water reactive, shimmer, duet, quick dry, what does it all mean? I'm going to help you understand what all of the ink pads do and how you're going to craft them in your stash and make everything a perfect picture of colour. Join me on the 6th of October where I'm going to give you a little 101 on our Gemini 2 die cutting and embossing machine. Also going to be covering our scoreboards, I'm going to be covering the enveloper and of course a little talk around our fabulous Ultimate Pro and all the amazing things that that does too. So I hope you can join me. Hey guys, Ro, I'm so excited about this. Tune in, join in on the 7th of October where I'm going to be showing you all things foil press. Maybe you want to see a little bit more information and detail as to how you use your foil press stamp. I'm going to show you. Maybe you want to use your crafter's companion wafer thin dies. I'm going to show you. Maybe you're going to be foiling your car stock. I'm going to show you it all and so much more. Come along, tune in, join in. If you've still got it in the box, I want you to get it out of the box. So tune in, join in. We're going to have some fun. Hi guys, I'm just here to ask you to come and join me uh, for my Craft Your Stash show. It'll be on Sunday the 8th of October at 3pm. This is what we're going to be making. I've got a gorgeous little explosion box. I'll just give you a quick peek now. Take the lid off and of course it wouldn't be a jam show if we didn't include some mixed media so I have lots of mixed media products with me including the stencils the glitter paste the gilding wax the glitter glues and together with our vintage snowman collection so hope you can come along for the ride and join me so make sure you tune in from Monday the 2nd of October trust me this is a week you are not going to want to miss 
There you go, Crafty Stash, all that to look forward to next week. Um, brilliant series of shows for you there, which hopefully everyone is going to love and enjoy. Um, we're going to do the vote for the... Oh, they're over there. Should have grabbed those, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> Debbie, do the pictures, do the pictures. Debbie, What's Debbie, that? Quinn, you, you go you to do grab one? them and I'll, I'll keep one. talking. OK. I mean, so, uh, oh, I'll tell you what we can do whilst we're waiting for the vote. Uh, thank you. Who is it? I can't remember the name of the lady who said uh, this is her dog. Holly the Collie, it is. Um, let me find it, let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. Oh dear, this is terrible TV. It is, <laughs> it is. Ah. Uh, uh, is it Hannah? Hillary, Ho it's Hillary, Holly it's Hillary. The Collie. Oh, I love a name. Holly! Oh, I love Collies. She is absolutely gorgeous, isn't she beautiful? It's, um, it's H O L L Y, Holly Collie, but. Oh, I mean, they're ju oh, just the loveliest dogs, honestly. My, my Molly Collie is, um, she's so different to Mac, was a real softy, and Molly is like a proper Collie. She wants to round everything up. She's always wanting jobs to do, but I love it because, like, when she's doing her jobs, she's, like, proper focused on it, but first thing in the morning and last thing at night, all she wants to do is jump up and have a snuggle. Like, when Aww. she wants to have a cuddle, she's the cuddliest little dog in the world, and she'll sit for like, you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes and have a snuggle. Oh. When she's in work mode, you can't, like, you can't even get down the stroke because she's too busy doing stuff. I've got things to do. Uh, but I love Collies. Thank you for sending in the picture of Holly the Collie. Uh, right, vote time. Yes. So your demo from this show is by default the by demo of the default, show. yes. So let's see what we've got. Right, we started back with Wake Up Call with our lovely Lily and she used those gorgeous, um, uh, the, the uh, Debbie, the, the seed edibles. I can't oh, yeah. remember the name of them, um, which is just beautiful. She did it on a little bit of acetate and I looked absolutely stunning. So that's number one. Number two, again, you will love it. You're loving these seed edibles. Um, we've got the number two, which was from the masterclass, which is the one that I did. Uh, just very simple linen cardstock there with a little bit of a gold edge detail. So that's number two. And then you've just seen the one that I've created in this show, which is a bit unusual for us in Craft Vault, but um, we wanted to do this one for you as well. So that's number three. So you've got the choice of three, two, or one. You decide. Get voting now. Uh, I reckon you've got about five minutes or so to get your uh, vote in on that. And uh, we will attempt to see if we can squeeze in some of your photos before the end of the show. Uh, we'll just uh, recap on some of the top deals as far as the craft vault is concerned. Um, that's your weekday wonder. But we wanted to show you the uh, Christmas, um, the Christmas gift cat, C gift cat, the Christmas gift cat, gift cat. Cat, I says. Cat. Christmas gift cat. Oh my days. Christmas gift card tag set. <laughs> Christmas. It's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah. Christmas character gift tag a craft vault, vault selection. selection. Yeah. There you go. The I've just found a card which I, I've never seen before, and I'll show you in a minute because I think it's hilarious um, from this set. But what these do, stamps and dies to be able to create a, um, a card where you've got the reveal of a message or, indeed, the ability to pop in a gift card. And, and we all know somebody who's difficult to buy for, don't we? And every year we end up trying to, you know, buy, a, buy them a present, can't find one, so we go, oh, gift card. And you pop the gift card in the card that you've made and it's rattling around the envelope. This is a great way to ensure that the gift card that you get for that person um, stays in situ. Now you've got various ways of doing it. So you've got this one here, which is the present. Yes, a festive selection, but I think this one, depending on the um, papers that you use, the card that you use, you're going to be using that all year round. I'm thinking birthdays, I'm thinking anniversaries, weddings, retirements, whatever it might be. Then you've got this set here, stamps and dies again, to be able to create the little um, stocking. So again, cute little card, uh, you've got the ability, you know, if you don't want to use it as a reveal, you, you don't have to, but you've got that um, reveal function with this one. Um, this one I really like, again here, look at that cute little card, just um, lay it onto a, um, a small little card base and then pop that one out and you've got your message in there as well, so joy to the world, don't always have to pop a gift card in there. Then you've got the, uh, the snowman, now this is brilliant, right, because you've got uh, where's the snowman card? Oh, I can show you this one here. So look, um, cute little card there. Love the colours actually. Who's popped that one together? 
uh, Haley. So uh, Snow One Like You, where you can pop the little uh, gift card out of that. But this is my, how funny is this? And I don't know what the die is that's been used in this card, but Laura made this one. The snowman's melted. <laughs> how funny oh. is that? I've never seen that one before I've in this never collection. I've never seen that before. Who's done that one? Uh, Laura Hughes. I love that. That's, that's hilarious. But you've got this. I love that. Yeah, the snowman. It's like, I'm melting. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> it's such a cool idea, isn't it? That is absolutely fab. That one um, has got the, actually the messages on the back of that one, or you, again, you can pop the gift card in. But I just think that's so creative um, and a very, very fun and clever way of doing things. The snowman's melted, you've just got the pile of snow, the carrot and the coal. Such a fun way um, of doing it. And then also in this collection, uh, you're going to get your father Christmas as well. Same sort of idea here uh, to be able to create the most fun cards. So again, you can obviously layer them up onto the front of a uh, normal project to pop your uh, gift card and pop your... Oh, yeah, that's not the right price on the screen. Do you know, I was looking, I mean, I'm thinking... I've just seen oh, that. This, that's... Uh, well, ah, well, that's gift card holders. Gift card holders is what I thought we were doing. Right, just, so we need to get the gift, the card, gift holders. card holders. Oh my days! Ooh. You can see it's coming off the right. The, the train track. Well, I didn't is, even notice. Yeah, I, only because I looked up and I saw the price and I thought that can't be right. So no. the gift tags are different to the gift card holders. That's the gift card holders that oh, you're showing. Oh, the gift tags, yeah, are down here. I don't know whether I picked up the wrong I one, Dean, or whether... I want a job to come back to next week, Ben. Oh, my uh, goodness. That's better. £12 or fifteen twenty better. is the deal for the Christmas gift card holders. The gift... Well, I'll show you the, this deal, the £4 deal, which was on the screen. The gift... Oh, dear, dear, dear. The... Gift card holder. So we can put... Yeah, well, I've, done, I've just done that one. Yeah. Twelve pounds or fifteen twenty. The one which we had the details up for that I wasn't showing you <laughs> is like so. This is that that one. Four pounds or five sixty. This is still as ridiculous. Oh, it is. It's fabulous. So these do create your little gift tags, front and back gift tags. Um, and the, the clever thing about these is, of course, is you've got the die there, which doesn't have like a bottom cutting edge, so you can make these as long as you want them to be. So I know a lot of people um, made little bookmarks with these as well, which I think is super cute. But you get the stamps and dies there to be able to create your little uh, festive elf. Do you definitely get all of these for four pounds or five dollars sixty? Is that wow. correct? Hundred percent. Yes. You've then got your yeah yeah. You've got your nutcracker which is um, Glad Tidings. So again, create your little uh, nutcracker tag. And then the last one is your Christmas Sparkle, which is the fairy. So the dies, or the die, uh, the stamps front and back, and then little sentiments with each of those. So that's the £4.560 deal to get all of those, which is absolutely bonkers. Um, now, oh, let's go over to the professional, the other side of the studio. Hopefully well, I'm saying professional, right. I'm worried I'm going to be showing you the wrong thing. So I'm just going to check with producer Dean. Um, can we just check the details? Because can we move that one off? Move that, move, move, kick, kick, go, go, bye, move. go on. I was just going to go, boof, but I've got my arthritic knee, so I'm not going to do that. Boof, with a punch. Oof. There we go, there we go. Our winter floral stamp and die. Craft Vault Collection. Is this right? Is this with the pads? Angfire, Angfire. Angfire, what's it called? Winter Floral Stamp and Die. Yes. I've got festive bows and candlelit Christmas. Is this the one? That would be a no. So you said, you said the professional over on the other side of the studio. I can't see it. What's it called? Welcome to Crafters TV, where we're always very professional. You got it. Is it this one? Uh, yeah. Festive bows, yeah. candlelit Christmas. Well, I'm right then. Yeah. I had the right bows. Yeah. Just look, it's just ridiculous prices, isn't it? It is. That's the thing. It's the crazy prices that we've had all day. Oh my days! So many crazy prices. Um, however, look at this one: the winter floral stamp. 
<laughs> I'm just checking. We're to floral stamps and die craft vault collection, £17 or $25. The platinum price is $13.60 or $20. Um, and this is where you're going to be getting. Now, I just want to just double check. check. Festive balls, producer Dean. Yeah. Thank you. Candlelit Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> It will be boards that were throwing me because it's got the deck of our sheet with it and I just wanted to double check, which is why I'm going to come to these because this is co indeed correct. And I'm going to show you all the lovely dies that you are getting. Uh, that I've got a lovely die cut embossing fe and embossing feature and you can see that lovely embossing feature on there because in here you are getting the stamps that will be that main focus. And if I just turn that around so you can see there, that's your lovely stamp detail. You're going to then place them over once you've coloured them in. You're going to place them over to die cut out <laughs> and do that lovely embossed detail on them as well. And as if that's not enough, have I got this the right way around? <laughs> oh, we didn't oh, the end of the show. Oh, my shout. days, it's unravelling before my very eyes. Can we just finish early? So we're just going to say, is it... I can tell it's a Friday evening is all I'm going to say. Uh, an absolutely lovely stamp set and die set that creates some really lovely features. Toppers, actually, they create lovely toppers that you can pop onto any of your Christmas makes, any of your gift boxes, any of your cards, whatever it is that you want to do. Out of the building, grab them at that price, especially that Club Platinum price as well. They're absolutely fabulous. Uh, <laughs> De Debbie, you're going to need another trip after this evening, says Stephanie Fyodos. I think we're all going to need a trip, aren't we? Yes. Wow, we. Yes, um, please. You're making me laugh so much, says um, Stephanie. I love live TV at its best. It is indeed. Yeah. Sometimes what it happens to it us. It does. Warts and all hit. Just shows you how professional we are, you know, the 99% of the time. Just the 1% when it goes off the rails. Usually when it's me and Debbie. Um, do the elevator thingy, says Sue Benson. Oh, I wish I'd read that comment earlier on. You've got the elevator button over that side of the studio, haven't you? Well, I have got... What do I do? Just press it? You press it and you disappear. We, me and what, Craig... me? Yeah, but you... I don't, There's you no to... way I can go down an elevator. All right, no? right you, you do it. If I press your button... I don't know if I've got an elevator this have side of the way. Have you got oh, an elevator? Oh, my God, I've just found it. OK, you've got, I think you have to... Yeah, you have to... You have I to... can't get down there. You, I'm just going to... You press the button stuck. from your side... It gets stuck. You press the button your side and I'll... OK, then I'm pressing the button. Although my cat is a lot lower. That's as far as it's gone. <laughs> oh, that's as far as mine goes. You press it my, back up. My, 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 is mine pressing back up? Yeah. It's got stuck, Ben. It's got stuck. Go. Oh, look, I'm getting stuck. There you go. Look. There you I go. did mine and it didn't catch me on camera. All that effort. Oh, my God, all that effort. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. Demo of the day. Oh, that's it. Let's get that one out of the way. One, we're at one, two, and a three. Oh, my God. <sighs> Ready? Three. You're kidding me. Uh, am, I, well, am I a guy who ever kids? Thank you very much. My little, my, little, uh, my little one that we weren't going to squeeze in, but we decided to squeeze in at the last minute for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it is really, a, it's a lovely collection, and it's a very easy one to do as well. It's like that, I always hear Leanne in my ear, the minimal effort, the maximum impact. I can hear her all the time when she says it, because it absolutely is. One try blend, uh, just to colour that in. One stamp, whether you're using any of our finesse ones, depending on the colour that you're going with, and you can create something like that yourself. The lovely, it's called the sepia effect. It's a really yeah. nice um, effect, that old-fashioned effect. Thank you very much. I'll take that one. Uh, and, yes, Susie, I remember you did call that, actually, so that is going to go up onto the Crafty Walk of Fame, and that could be the one that you vote for on Sunday. Um, uh, loads coming up over the course of the weekend. Don't forget the weekday wonder. Last chance to grab this. Uh, your two sets of your uh, acetate here. So you've got your luxury foil acetate, 12 by 12, uh, 380 micron. You've seen this before. Like This is um, unbelievable quality uh, acetate. Super thick. It's, it's almost like a, um, like a plastic, this, but great for you know your gift boxes, your gift bags, table favors, all those kind of things. Um, and again, you always think about like, acetate potentially for making the lid of a box, for example, um, <laughs> and then obviously using the card for the base. But actually, 
This, this is absolutely brilliant to be able to create both your lid and your base when it comes to um, your projects as well. 380 micron, you're gonna get uh, 12 sheets across the um, collection that you've got here. So this one is your feeling, feeling, festive gold and silver. And if I quickly show you, gold, it does look nice in my waistcoat, doesn't it? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. That's like your festive um, foliage. That's kind of like mistletoe and you've got little <laughs> snowflakes in there. Uh, then you've got the, um, like the, the snowflakes and stars. And then you've got that in the gold and the silver as well. I don't know if I can find you, hang on. There's the gold. <laughs> and then in the silver, what you're doing here because I think it's showing it off I never showed it off earlier it's absolutely stunning beautiful luxury foiled acetate at an amazing price to get both sets yeah and the second set is the, the festive red and green. what the red and green what a green so for, this is your festive red and green that's your that's perfect. Foliage. That's a good, good shot there, Ben. Thank good you. Shot. Perfect. Then you've got that in red. Beautiful Ooh, in red. Absolutely the red stunning. is amazing, right? I see you wear a little jacket with that on. Little yeah, me too. Cool. And then finally, oh, <clears> never. <throat> that um, sort of Nordic knit pattern. Yes. And you've got that in the gold. The gold? That's green. God, dear, let's take green. us off air now. Green, <laughs> red, you get it all. Weekday wonder, £24, £32, double points. You won't be here tomorrow because it's the weekend. Thank you for a brilliant show. Debbie, thank you so much. When are you back? Thank you very much. I will be back next Thursday um, afternoon. I'll be in for the um, masterclass. So I'll be here at 3pm next Thursday. Um, I am back with you next Wednesday. <laughs> Hashtag slacker. But after that... Uh, I probably need about four days off. I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah, next Wednesday, as in Wednesday coming, Charlotte. Next Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be a great weekend, though. Uh, Michelle and Corin, I think, are with you tomorrow. But a massive thank you to all the team. Thank you to Debbie. Thank you to Jake. Thank you to Superstar Susie and Rachel. Thank you to Dean. Thank you to Charlotte. Uh, thank you to you guys for watching. <laughs> oh, what a show. How on, earth, <laughs> how on earth do we just about get through that? Uh, have a brilliant weekend, everybody. Uh, until then, bye for now.